go ahead. Um, my name is Mariah Stidham. I'm here on behalf of Louisiana Foundation Against Sexual Assault. We are the statewide coalition of all 14 rape crisis centers in Louisiana. Um, we provide training and resources and systems advocacy. Um, I'm here this morning to urge you to vote no on this bill. Um, in its overreaching and clearly political attempt to ban abortion, it provides no exceptions for rape or incest victims. Some would say and have said that such an exception is not necessary. However, um, the statistics are quite staggering. In a recent survey of American women, 5% of all rapes resulted in pregnancy. The Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network estimates that for 248,300 sexual assaults occurred in the year 2007 alone. So 5%, that equates to 12,415 pregnancies that occurred as a result of rape in one year. That's 12,415 women who need services, who need choices, and who need an opportunity to heal in a way that is best for them. Sadly, the statistics for adolescent girls are much more sobering. Between 11 and 20 percent of pregnant teenagers in a recent nationwide study became pregnant as a direct result of rape. So for those who think that a rape exception is unnecessary or that pregnancy as a result of rape is uncommon, I encourage you to speak to those 12,000 415 women per year because to some of them this bill could be quite devastating. Louisiana Foundation Against Sexual Assault takes no position on abortion in general. However, we must oppose any abortion ban such as this one that does not include an exception for rape or incest victims. Rape at its very core is about power and control. It's about taking control of the victim's body and taking away her power to make decisions about her own life. This bill does the exact same thing. By effectively eliminating a woman's ability to regain control of her life after a rape in a way that she sees fit, it is a slap in the face to victims everywhere. By forcing a rape victim to carry that pregnancy to term, we would take a giant step backwards in the field of victims' rights. I know that many women in this room have a strong testimony to share today, and many already have. I come to you today both as a victim's advocate and as a victim myself. I was raped and impregnated at the age of 13. I assure you that the availability of abortion saved my life. It allowed me an opportunity to move past the rape and to regain the control over my body and over my life that was so violently taken from me. In contrast, you may hear testimony today from a rape victim who chose to continue her pregnancy and is thankful that she did. This goes to show that what is the right choice for one rape victim may not be the right choice for another. The single most important thing is that we have that choice and that we have an opportunity to regain control over our bodies and over our lives and that we not be forced to endure yet another thing against our will. So, in closing, I ask you to each look into your own heart and ask yourselves if you could look a rape victim in the eye and say your rapist <laughs> did not care what you wanted and neither does the state of Louisiana. Thank you. Yes, ma'am.